How's it going? It's Charles Botenston from Botenston Properties International. Welcome to Q&A Monday, where we answer questions over 10 seconds, hopefully, and under a minute, hopefully. So we're gonna start the first one off with, my application was recently denied by a board in Queens. The prior owner passed away and her estate is in possession. The apartment must have been listed at a low sales price, but I won't know for sure until the broker does a Okay, so essentially it goes on and on and on. The question is, can the board impose an arbitrary price and essentially invalidate my contract? What are my options other than walking away, forking over, forking over more money? But yes, I heard about this a lot in Manhattan. I haven't heard about this in Queens. She goes on to say, or he, now the board is asking for an additional $6,000. So the board is asking for $6,000 more than the contract price. Yes, I've heard about this in Manhattan. I actually heard about this when I was visiting, visiting an apartment with my customers and the broker, and I was like, why has this been on for three months? This is a really hot market. And he said, well, we actually just had a board denial because the board wanted a certain price and the buyer didn't want to pay that price and he was direct. So in other words, there's no broker in between to explain the situation. The buyer called the bluff on the board and then the board denied them, and then the buyer, I don't think they're actually going for repercussions. You can either walk away, you can go with the price that the board wants, or you could potentially negotiate. Those are really the only three options. Um, legally, as I mentioned, I have no idea if this is accurate to that a board can actually do this, but the boards do do this quite often, and it's one of the biggest reasons. It's qualifications of a buyer that the board says no, and the other is because the sales price is too low. Thank you for watching another Q&A Monday. I am Charles Bonston from Bonston Properties International. You can do one of three things right now. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which has other Q&A Mondays, along with property video walkthroughs of listings that we represent. You can follow us on Instagram, which is our favorite social media network, where we have professional photography of buildings, along with the history of those buildings of New York City, along with listings we represent. Number three, which is go to Botenston.com and search for all available New York City condos, co-ops, and commercial properties. Talk to you guys soon.